Mercedes showed again in Baku that their car really isn't as bad as they made it out to seem early on in the season. Toto Wolff apologized to the fans, saying a completely different car was coming, but their returning technical director, James Allison, has now refuted that fact. There are upgrades for Mercedes on the way, but fans shouldn't expect a completely new car, not even for next season. Stick around to find out what Allison said about the coming Mercedes upgrades, and why it might not be such a bad thing that they aren't remaking their entire car. We'll also give you an update on Hamilton's contract situation, so don't go anywhere. James Allison's return to the Mercedes team was a shock for many people. He left the role of technical director just two years earlier, allowing Mike Elliott to step into his shoes. After a couple of uncompetitive years, though, the team decided it was time to shake things up and try and bring some of the magic that made them such a dominant force from 2014 until 2021. In Formula 1, magic takes time to set in, though, and until Allison can really influence what's going on behind the scenes, Mercedes will continue to be battling Aston Martin and Ferrari for second in the Constructors' Championship. Allison's return got a lot of Hamilton and Mercedes fans talking about new cars. Fans wanted to see the current W14 scrapped, and instead a W14B or W15 brought onto the track as quickly as possible. After all, Toto had said in his apology letter to the fans that the team had made mistakes and that they should have never stuck with the zero pod concept. The team's singular win in Brazil was basically blamed for convincing them the current car was worth evolving, instead of binning it in exchange for a more competitive clone of Red Bull. While those of you who thought Allison would be the one to design a brand new Mercedes car are going to be disappointed, because that isn't his plan at all. Allison has insisted the team will not return to the drawing board when designing next year's Formula 1 car. Despite Toto Wolff and his drivers insisting a new car is necessary to fight for race wins again, their new technical director disagrees. I don't think any of us would ever consider a wholesale revamp clean sheet a good or prosperous approach, he said at a press conference in Baku. If the rules change, then of course you have to change with them, but engineering is about iteration, and in all likelihood, if you tear things up, and I'm going to mix metaphors horrifically here, you're going to just throw away an awful lot of baby, along with small amounts of bathwater. That's a very graphic description from James Allison, but hopefully it makes sense. If they go all the way back to the drawing board and try to replicate another team's car, they're going to lose a lot of good stuff that they've learned from the current car. When the regulations get rewritten in 2026, they can start fresh, but doing it now will get rid of a lot of good stuff they've been working on for years now. All of these cars, from the top to the bottom of the grid, are unbelievably good cars, and it's merely a question of how competitive are you. Are you the best in the whole world? You're going to use the platform you have, and you're going to choose the paths forward that allow it to get better in the fastest possible way. And almost never, in fact never, would you ever tear things up and say, no, enough with that, let's change and do something completely different. This is a huge change of message from the Mercedes team. For months now, Toto has given the impression that the W14 was dead to the team, but after just a few weeks back in the team, James Allison has completely changed the Mercedes plan. To be fair, what Toto knows about designing a Formula 1 car is just a drop in the ocean of knowledge that James Allison has. Clearly, Allison has seen something in the current car that makes him think it isn't worth giving up on yet. The bones of the current car were of his design, so maybe he can see something that Mike Elliott can't. Either way, it's a pretty shocking change of plan from the team. How do you Mercedes fans feel about it? Are you worried that Mercedes are just making the same mistakes again? Let us know what you think in the comments. While you do that, let's talk a bit about Hamilton. He was meant to be signing a new contract over the winter break, but that never happened. Wolf had made a point of making sure everyone knew that the only reason the contract wasn't signed in 2022 was because they wanted to do it during the quiet of the offseason, away from the bright lights of the paddock. Hamilton's decision not to sign a new contract with Mercedes is likely because he wants to see if the team can actually design a car in the current regulations that can contest Red Bull. If he wanted to sign an extension with the team, he would have by now. Toto would probably offer Lewis's shares in the team if he thought it would get the seven-time world champion to sign on the dotted line. Mercedes have a big upgrade package planned for Imola in two races' time, and while Toto Wolff, Mercedes team principal, did his best to play down expectations in the aftermath of Sunday's Azerbaijan Grand Prix, warning Silver Arrows fans not to expect a silver bullet, there is a lot riding on its success. At the very least, 
both Hamilton and Mercedes will need to see they're moving in the right direction if they are to commit to a new multi-million pound deal. It is difficult to overstate just how crushing the start of this season was for Mercedes. Hamilton does not want to spend what is left of his career fighting for sixth place. If he's going to renew, he'll want to be reasonably confident that Mercedes can at least challenge Red Bull in the next couple of years. Mercedes, too, will want that reassurance if they're going to pay his astronomical wages. The rest is details. There were rumors in Baku that Hamilton wants a two-year deal, and Mercedes a one-year deal with a one-year option. There will be gossip about other drivers, rumors like the ones including Ferrari's Charles Leclerc. But at the center of it all is the car. The truth is, Hamilton has few options. Ferrari and Aston Martin are currently at the same level as Mercedes, and surely not worth sacrificing a lifetime's association with the German carmaker for. Red Bull would be wild, but it's almost impossible to see that happening. The combination of Hamilton and Max Verstappen at the same team would be incredible for the neutral. But neither Horner nor Verstappen need it or want it. It would be like pouring petrol on an open flame. Mercedes simply have to get this next step right which is why Wolf is trying so hard to play things down. Asked whether the W14 upgrades was still intended for Imola, the Austrian confirmed that it was. The target is Imola, but I need to manage everybody's expectations, because we're talking so much about that upgrade, but we're not going to put it down on the track and drive circles around Red Bull, he warned after Sunday's race. Hamilton knows that, but he also knows how important this next month is to his future. He's consistently said he's happy at Mercedes and that he plans to stay on. But both he and the team need to know they're on the right track. It's been just counting the days down or counting the weeks down, the 38-year-old admitted on Sunday. We don't currently know exactly how good the upgrade will be, but we know it will be a start of something new for us. Up until the Baku Grand Prix, it was assumed that the Imola upgrades would be the beginning of a completely new car, taking shape. But considering what James Allison has said, Maybe it won't be. There are three weeks and the Miami Grand Prix before we see the cars on track in Italy, so it's too early for any leaks of the upgrade. For now, we'll just have to be patient and wait to see what Miami brings. Despite a disappointing weekend in Azerbaijan, Hamilton did have some positive things to say about the team, a good sign for any fans hoping he'll stay on at Mercedes past the end of the year. Apparently, the team is getting to where they need to be. He said, The mentality in the team is great. There's such a winning mindset and everyone is focused on progressing and getting to where we know we can get to. It's just taking some steps. I don't think there are any mistakes, there aren't any lessons or this is a failure. I think this is just the build to getting where we need to be. Do you think Hamilton will sign a new contract if Mercedes can show some improvement in Imola? Or is there no chance of them battling for a championship in the next few years? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. And until next time, drive safe and bye for now.